You see that perfect creamy avocado you just paid a premium for? What if I told you the industrial process that made it look so flawless actually short-circuited its most powerful health benefits on the inside? The fruit looks ripe, but on a biochemical level, it's tragically immature. It doesn't have the good stuff an organic, properly ripened fruit would have. You're about to see how the industry uses the gas to force ripening, accelerating the breakdown of the fruit structure so fast that it never gets a chance to develop the unique fat-soluble compounds you're eating it for in the first place. And it's not just avocados. Bananas, mangoes, they all get hit with this treatment. It's a massive, unnatural conversion of starch to sugar that ends up tasting sweet, but is completely one-dimensional and lacks real nutrition. We'll even touch on a banned chemical that leaves arsenic residues, which is sometimes still snuck into the mango supply. So, here is exactly what we're covering today. First, the logistics. Why force ripening exists and how it works. Second, the biochemical deception. We'll compare what happens inside avocados versus bananas versus tropical fruits like mangoes. Third, the nutritional fallout. The hard data on what you're actually missing out on. And finally, number four, your action plan. IL give you visual cues to spot force ripened fruit so you can win back your produce. Now we have to be real about the logistics. Getting fruit across continents without it turning into mush is a challenge. So, the industry harvests mature but still firm fruit and then forces it to ripen on their schedule. They use what I call an industrial pause button, a compound called 1-methylcyclopropene. It blocks the fruit's ethylene receptors, suspending the ripening process. It's like hitting pause on a biological clock. This buys them time for shipping and staging. Avocados, for example, are chilled to slow their metabolism in transit. Then, when it's time to press play, they raise the temperature and humidity and flood the ripening rooms with ethylene gas to trigger ripening on cue. That uniform ripeness you see in stores? It's not nature's miracle. It's a chemically manipulated logistics plan built for shelf life, not for your nutrition. So they can pause ripening, but how do they press play? And what does that do to the fruit's internal chemistry? Let's go back to the avocado. In these temperature and humidity controlled rooms, ethylene gas